Hey beautiful people, long time no see. I think it's because I was secretly in hiding until my bangs grew out a little bit. We're clearly not quite there yet. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, but if you saw my last vlog, it was me cutting my bangs and it's been a hot minute. Honestly, we have been so incredibly swamped and today is gonna be like a big update video as well. So a lot of stuff going on today, including the fact, if you couldn't tell by the title, I have officially shut my slime shop down. It's a little bit bittersweet. I am excited for the new stuff I'm working on, which I will show you guys today. But you guys are probably gonna recognize who's actually coming to buy a lot of my slime supplies, which is awesome. I was like, oh my goodness, what am I gonna do with all this stuff? And it ended up working perfectly. Uh, I'm still gonna have a lot of stuff left over and we're gonna see how much stuff we could fit in her vehicle, little spoiler. Currently though, I am working on this video. It is part two in my starting a business from scratch series. It's already Friday and it has to be posted tomorrow. So I'm just like super behind schedule. We had a wedding last weekend in Florida. So we, I missed a day last week of work and then a day this week of work. So I just feel absolutely crazy right now. So I've been editing and working since like seven this morning. It is 11, so here in a little bit, she should be here anytime. We have a bunch of slime <laughs> supplies and look who's buying it. Who is it? The Who slime, is it? What's it called? I don't know, the slime snatcher. <laughs> slime snatcher. <laughs> we are getting empty in here. Oh my gosh, there's so many little things. I'm so excited. Her Jeep packed full <laughs> she... of slime. So Nicole picked up a lot of stuff. I still have a lot of stuff left, so I don't know what I'm gonna do with it all. Um, I'm definitely gonna sell this mixer on Marketplace. I think I'm gonna keep the shelving probably just for our garage. And then I have to go through all this. Like I have boxes and bo boxes of candy and just all kinds of random stuff. A lot of glue still. What are you doing? Get the measurement. Of what? Stone. <laughs> oh, okay. Did you get it? Yeah, 26 feet. So we're thinking, oh babe, you blew all the grass into the mulch. I, I have no choice with a little push mower. It just does whatever it wants. I guess I could have done something else, but. We just mulched this. No, it's fine. It's gonna die. Yeah. It's gonna be brown soon. It's gonna look just like So that. we want to get like rocks or some kind of border. What do people normally do next to their grass? This little like Hedget? prefab. Um, I mean, you, you could do like the edging like that, but I don't really, I, I only put that there because it's free. So this has, well, this is good for this because you, you wouldn't want stone. But here we're thinking of going to Lowe's and getting some stone. We haven't done a yard update in a while. You want to do a yard update? Yeah, because we keep getting these weeds trying to like grow. <laughs> do you know what I just said? What? A I said, do you want to give them a yard update? Oh. And you start talking about weeds. Sorry. So look at our grass. You guys saw our grass last year. So it's finally starting to come in some. Here's our plants back here also coming in. It's just now starting to get... <laughs> Spring. Oh my gosh. Oh, someone has the zoomies. And he has the zoomies. And he has the zoomies. And he has the zoomies. Let them out, Mac. Let them out. Get them, babe. Don't let them stop. You failed. <laughs> the goal is to not let him stop running. So I feel like the way I'm holding the camera, the grass actually looks worse. I think if you put it more at like an angle, it looks actually like a yard, kind of. Okay, we might go to Lowe's and get those pavers, but 100% we need to go grocery shopping because we have nothing really to make right now for dinner or even lunch. So we need to get to that. Before we go to the store, I'm just finishing up posting my video. I got that all edited, which I'm super happy about. It's 1.30 now almost. I just have to add in like the description and then it's good to go for tomorrow. But I thought I would share with you guys the new stuff I've been doing and why I've been so busy. But on top of the voiceover work I always do, I recently also started selling on Fiverr um, as like spokesperson videos and unboxing videos, which has been super fun. Since I already have all the equipment for YouTube, it just fit in really nicely. I actually ended up getting a teleprompter for my camera, which is really cool and works really well. But I've been doing a lot of unboxings for companies that I don't post on my personal accounts or anything like that, but I send them the final video to them. So I've been really busy with that, which is a good thing. It's always good to be busy. It means you're making money, um, but it's been a little bit overwhelming because I also am currently working on an audiobook on top of all of that. So I've been just having a lot of voice work which is great I love it um, but on top of YouTube like and just everything it's just been a lot 
Um, so there's just a lot of things to juggle. This, social media, like my own personal stuff, plus the more freelancer type of stuff I've been doing that I love. But things have just been a little bit hectic lately. I feel like my entire day is focused on work and I feel like other areas in my life are just slacking right now. So I hope next week will maybe start to get a little bit better, but I don't think so because I'm starting another thing. I'm working with Amazon on their Amazon Lives, which I'm super excited for. So I plan, so far I think I'm gonna do it on Tuesdays. I could really do it whenever, whatever days I want and whatever times, but just so you guys know, I'll be doing a live stream on Amazon Live. Um, I'll share the links on like my Instagram and YouTube, but you could tune into those, you could come chat, you could come say hi, and each one will be themed completely different. I think the first one, I'm gonna be talking about products for small businesses, but I might do like a makeup product review on there and how I do my everyday makeup. Um, I could really do just about anything, my favorite like eco-friendly minimalist products. I could do recipes in the kitchen. So it's literally gonna be a little bit of everything, which is super nice. It's kind of like this vlog channel where I have free range and less like confined to a niche. So I'm excited that I'm gonna be doing like a broad range of things on there. I'll do a little YouTube post when I'm able to go live for sure. As of now, I'm thinking Tuesday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That can change. It might be Thursday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So we'll see. Stay tuned for that. I will keep you guys posted though. But just another fun thing I'm doing. It's going to be an hour long and I'm gonna be doing it once a week. So I'm very excited to do that. So Andy went to the store for me. He is the best so that we didn't both have to go and I could stay here and get some work done. So I'm gonna take my laptop upstairs and get some voiceover work done. So now I'll probably just sit down and do voiceovers. Let's see how long it takes, probably a couple hours. It's 3.23 right now. So let's do this. We provide professional cleaning services for your corporate offices, worship facilities, and all other public spaces. I just got done. It is currently 5.37. So if I remember what time I started correctly, I think that's been like two hours and 20 minutes. I think I started at 3.20. I'm gonna watch this video back and be like, Courtney, you're totally wrong. So I made a whopping $206 in that time, which I think is pretty good. I always like to like leave my calculator running and then I just add every order to it because I like to see how much I make. So pretty happy with that. And I just actually got two chapters done on top of that, which I didn't include in that for the audiobook I'm doing. So getting ahead, working through that. So super happy oh, about all of that. My throat's just a little tired now, but not too bad. Babe, I love you. <laughs> I love you. You've done so much today. Look at that arm, it's looking so muscular. Oh, don't even. It looks so good. Oh, that's all creatine. Well, you did so much. You've helped me so much all week. I love you. I love you. I appreciate you. You should go look outside now. I know, show me. So Andy did the brick pavers we were talking about. Mm -hmm. He went to Lowe's, picked them up. And I did it all in one day, so it's you not sitting that. in my truck. Yeah. Really? And you went to the grocery store. All right, show me. Show me. Help me, my show back me. is broken. Show me, let's go, oh, God. let's go. Oh, that looks way better than not I thought. Very tall. Look at it. It doesn't look like much. I put seed all in here and I... But it looks great. I thought they were gonna be sticking up like really, really tall. No, I, I, I dug it all you out. You did so good. Like, Man, it's cold, I'm going inside. I don't know how you're wearing a shirt. I feel like I can feel, see my breath. Side note, we still have our Christmas mat and this. Uh, definitely need to get a new one. I did get this rug, which I like from TJ Maxx. I've been looking everywhere for a nice front door mat that I like. We've checked Kirkland several times. TJ Maxx and I just can't find one. So maybe this weekend, maybe tomorrow we go to TJ Maxx, but yeah, I need like a new wreath. We need to take the Christmas wreath down. The Christmas wreath wasn't so bad because it was like winter, but it just became spring. So kind of need to change that as well. So don't judge, but I think that's gonna wrap up today's video. What are you getting into? Cookie. Oh, I did want to show you guys something. We did just get this from Amazon. This was Andy's idea. Where'd you see it? I don't know. I'm pretty sure I stumbled across it like on Facebook somewhere. Okay, but it is this. this. <laughs> Did you feed the dog? Oh, nobody's fed him. It's oh. six o'clock. He's outside having the time of his life. Feed. But the very first day we got it, Andy fed him. Two hours later, I was like, I know you fed him this morning and you didn't actually use the chart. I wasn't used to it. Yeah, so I just flipped it for you. Now it's like a game. Yeah, now it's like a game. Who's gonna flip the chart first? What are you doing back there? It's working. So you're just like in the background, but not in the video. So that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll talk to you really soon. Bye.